Philippe here again. Once more, here with Dania. Today we're gonna to work with the last uh, last of our pass. Next week we're gonna start with the lahi. Okay. Nice to see you, everyone. Moving the head sideways. Up and down. Circling the head of one. Both sides. And arm, everyone. The other arm. Hips. Okay, people drop it on the floor and bridging. Sometimes it's side of one. Keep escaping people. Sometimes it's side. Rolling back and forth over the shoulder. Five times it's side of one. <coughs> Technical stand up, going up. Hand goes back and you go down, straight sides, same thing to the other side. Five times each side of one, up and down. Once we're on top, doing a gorilla walk to get some uh, mobility here from our feet. Hand on the floor, weight on the hand, big step to the side. Switch the hand, same thing to the other side, keeping the weight on my hand. Big step, okay? Right hand, I step to the right. Left hand, I step to the left. Sometimes each side of one. And back stepping, place my hand on the floor, have the right one. I'm gonna back step with the left leg, keeping my hips low. Bring myself up, switch the hands. Same thing to the other side. Keeping the hips low, but not sitting, okay, everyone? Sometimes it's side, and we're gonna start with the partner drills. Okay, everyone, so we started playing with lasso. Just recapping the, the lasso entry that we've done a while ago. If you need more details, just check the lasso classes that we have online, okay? Basically, then it's gonna have the control of my sleeve, okay? She's gonna hip skate as she hip skates. She's already pulling the sleeve, bringing the lasso in, squaring the hips so she can keep the control of my shoulder. Okay, to undo the lasso, she's gonna hip skate again, remove her leg, and she's gonna start from the beginning, hip skate into the other side, so she can bring her leg inside until she reaches my armpit, as she squares the hip, you guys can see that my shoulder is already tilting to the side. That means that she has control. So she's gonna go back and do that. And we're just gonna be playing side to the side like this. Okay, she gets the lasso, squares, hip skate again, undo the lasso, and we're back from the beginning. Okay, like I said, people, if you need more details, just check the other classes that we work with this. We've done two weeks of lasso in which we repeated this a lot just so we can get a feeling of the position in order to pass. Okay? Two minutes, one of you on top, the other one on the bottom, and we're gonna move forward. Okay, people doing our stability game here. Then is trying to sweep, setting whatever grips that she wants. I'm gonna allow her to work the way she wants. I just wanna stay stable. So from here, people make sure, try to squat, try to keep your hips and your shoulders here aligned. I'm making sure also that I'm also mobile, okay everyone? I don't want to be stuck to the ground, otherwise I'm not going to be able to uh, stabilize myself. I'm not trying to pass, I'm just trying to fight her grips and her attempts to sweep, okay? Just want to stay stable, keeping myself low. If things are bad for me, I can kneel, break the grips and start playing from here. So basically, <clears throat> first on the bottom, giving your best to the sweep. Press on top, give your best so I get swept. If you guys get swept, back from the beginning and keep playing. Focus is stability, very important for us to pass the guard. Okay, two minutes, one of you on the bottom, the other one on top, then you guys switch. We're gonna have a good workout and we can see today's position. Let's go everyone. Okay everyone, so we are gonna start working away here with Daniel. 
that she's gonna get the lasso okay she's gonna have both controls here of my of my sleeve and here sometimes it's gonna be really hard to break your opponent's grips okay so I just want to make sure that I'm gonna work in a way that I want to get this lasso out especially sometimes people are gonna try to drag your opponent's leg and your opponent's foot is gonna get stuck so we're gonna start working in a deeper way here with the last. So first thing I wanna do is either grab her belt or her collar, okay everyone? And why is that? Because as long as my hand is here uh, in the air, I couldn't remove my hand, okay people? If I could, I would, uh, I would be out already. But if I keep my hand hanging in the air, every time that Dania turns her hip, I'm gonna turn together with her. All right, so I just wanna get a little bit of safety grabbing her collar right here. Okay, and I want to close my elbow, pushing with my shoulder here already. Okay, so from here, guys, you can see that Daniel loses the mobility a little bit. Okay, and so she doesn't get to play her lasso guard as free as she can. Okay, the other hand, I'll just want to be controlling the leg. Okay, so Daniel doesn't make this worse for me, so she doesn't end up in uh, uh, putting the spider or. Uh, attacking this somehow so I just want to make sure that I'm pushing her knee towards her face okay everyone I'm not pushing down because if I push down she can always pull my sleeve and, and break and now she's establishing here okay what I want to do in reality from here is she she's allowed to keep the grip on my sleeve that I, I couldn't break but I want to make sure that I push that I'm pushing her leg forward towards her knee here okay so how do I get rid of this if I cannot drag her leg or uh, wave my hand away. So I'm gonna go now, let's turn here. I'm gonna go here on my toes. I'm gonna start circling to the last, to the side of the lasso. If I try to go here, then it sweeps me, okay? Exactly. Okay, so I wanna turn to the side of the lasso. So as I do that, people, I'm going to start dropping my shoulder on her shin and I'm gonna start circling away so I can remove her foot out of the way as well, okay? As soon as this happens, everyone, I'm gonna start using my shoulder to open the leg, and now I'm back into this position. From here, everyone, I can switch to a number of passes that I, that I, that I want. I can, for example, bring my, my arm around and go for a stack pass, or as I'm here, I can circle and pass to the other side, up to you. The only thing that I want to do is use my shoulder to free, to, to remove her foot out of my armpit, open up so I can push her leg to the side and then I'm gonna connect with whatever pass I can. Okay? So one more time. Then it has the control. First thing I want to do is grab her collar or her belt. I'm gonna stay with the belt, uh, the belt grip here. Okay, the other one, I just want to be controlling the leg. Okay, so I want to be pushing her leg to the side. So what I'm going to do now is I want to circle to the side of the lasso. If I circle to the other side, that's what Dana wants. All right, so I'm going to go on my toes and I'm going to start dropping my shoulder on the foot, pushing here with my body. I'm going to circle and I'm going to open my elbow until I can remove her foot. As this happened, people, now she's already having a hard time keeping the grip. From here, I can just wave my arm and go for a stack pass, which I would do, okay, keep the grip. Or if I want from here, I can just circle around, push the legs to the other side, end up on the side control. So basically, people, what I'm doing is pushing. As soon as the foot goes out, I'm gonna open up and push my opponent's leg away to the side, okay? Trying with each other, everyone, step by step, and then you guys uh, uh, can always switch between you. As you guys understand this, you can do a little bit faster. But again, people, like I said with the spider, as soon as we start getting deeper in, the, in our opponent's guard, work in a more methodical way, okay? Being safe is the a, is a best case scenario. What we're trying to do here is break your opponent's grip, so then we can play our passes and, and go to the side control. So very important, break your opponent's uh, lasso so then you can pass, okay? 
Let's train a little bit, everyone. All right, everyone. So Daniel is gonna give her best here to play her lasso. All right, I'm gonna give my best to pass her lasso. So her goal is to either get a submission or get a sweep or I take my back, whatever. On the other hand, I wanna uh, prevent this from happening and pass. If I pass a guard, good for me, back from the beginning. If she gets any sweep or submission on me, good for her, back from the beginning. Okay, people? So we're just gonna be playing with each other here. Make sure, guys, that you're trying as hard as you can. So Anya is already establishing here, already going for a sweep that I wasn't expecting her to do, but it's fine. <laughs> from here. I made my bed. <laughs> back from the beginning, and we keep playing, okay? Three minutes, and then you guys switch, and then you add as many rolls as you want. Up to you, all right? Hope everyone's okay. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.